Hi everyone, it's Kyle with Rangeland RV up here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Behind me here is the Forester Mercedes 2401W motorhome. I'm going to take a little bit of time to go over some of the features, construction, and kind of the overall quality that you're going to get with the Forester motorhome. So starting out, this one is on the Mercedes diesel Blue Tech 3 liter uh, diesel Mercedes motor. As you can see, we have it ordered in with the full body paint. It looks really nice. Uh, the benefits of full body paint, it's not going to fade over time. You don't have the decals and decals that are going to tear away. Uh, so it's a really sharp looking motor home. This one comes in at just under 25 feet at 2411, which is really nice. You're able to tow 4,200 pounds so you can pull a little trailer along. It has a full wall slide, which has been our best seller. Uh, opens up the floor plan quite a bit. It's also not a massive motorhome, so you can get it uh, scooted around town and still enjoy it without lugging around a 40 foot motorhome. Uh, so we're gonna go show you some exterior features and then we'll pop inside and see what the floor plan looks like. Starting on the outside, we have tons of exterior storage on the sidewall. An uh, important feature we always look for is uh, where are you gonna put your golf clubs in the motorhome, right? So Forrester, and this floor plan here has a great spot underneath here the tuck your golf ball bag in. You can also see that they um, use a plastic material. It's molded plastic for all the storage compartments and the big ones do have drain plugs so you can uh, wash them out in the car wash, rinse everything out, open the drain plug and the water flows out to leave everything nice and clean. All the handles are going to be slam latch which are really nice and soft the smaller clips. Even on the smallest spaces, this is the back side of the dinette, they try to use that uh, space. So anywhere there's a hidden dead, dead space in the motorhome, it'll give you access to maximize your storage in a smaller one. You can see on the side here too, you're going to be prepped with uh, blind spot cameras and there's also a rear view camera too. So you're going to have, when you turn your signal light on, it's going to show you what's in your blind spot on either side and then you have your backup camera where you're getting closer if you're driving, you can turn that on. You'll see that we have this one ordered in with a slide topper and they all have the frameless windows which are really nice. The frameless windows, one, um, aesthetically it's a nicer look. Uh, you're also, your seals are going to be protected from the sun so they're not going to, the plastic's not going to deteriorate over time. And you can open, open these in the rain, they just pop out and allows air flow in and out of the trailer. It's a really nice look for it. It's a larger storage in the back of the Mercedes here. That's going to be your 3600K Cummins generator, and it's going to be propane power, which is nice. So if you're out in the colder weather, you can start the propane generator compared to the diesel ones tend to not like the cold. This one is equipped with roughly about a 70 pound propane tank, which is a really nice size to run your generator. So you're going to get those long hours and it runs really quiet. Back here is you have your service center. So they give you a nice hose, so if you need to spray off anything back here, you can. You have water. You also have a spot for your sewer hose built in, so it's not going inside your storage compartments. And all your gate valves are enclosed and sealed, because this one does come with the winter package. So you have a fully enclosed heated underbelly uh, with 12 volt heat pads, uh, so you can get out in those extended season. Coming to the back of the motor here, you're going to see Ladder, this is going to be standard, get up on the roof, check your seals. You're also going to have your backup camera or observation camera, your LED marker and tail lights, and then your fresh water fill up back here. Come into the front of the motorhome, you're going to see we got nice size power awning with the LED strips. Uh, so you pop that all the way out, you have a nice living space outside your trailer. You can also control it. Bring it in and out, turn your lighting, and all your sensors right there. This one is equipped with the wind sensor. Uh, we still encourage you to put your awning away when you leave your campground so it doesn't get warm. Uh, standard with the black tank flush, what this is going to allow you to do is there's sprayers built into your black tank. It's going to allow you to spray out your black tank when you go to the dump. It's going to leave everything a lot cleaner and it won't get your sensors clogged up so you always have an accurate reading. If you, on the front of your campground, if you do decide to bring a barbecue with you, you have a quick connect there, you can plug it in. It's going to feed off that roughly 70 pound tank that you're going to go with. Now this is a dually back here on the wheels, so it's not a single axle. So it's not the smaller B-class motorhome you're 
you're getting that that capability with the diesel Mercedes. A couple extra front storage areas. And then you've got your roughly 70 pound tank there. On the side, it's prepped for solar on the side. If you have a portable panel with you, you can plug that in, have your 20 feet of cord, put it in the sun, you're good to go. And then you have some power outlets out here if you want to bring the margarita mixer along. Coming up to the front of the coach. A nice feature that comes standard with the Forester is going to be your molded fiberglass front cap, which is really nice. So there's no stress point on that front cap. It's going to be a nice, perfect seam up there. Uh, Forester is going to do a full one-piece fiberglass roof. Same with the floor is going to be a one-piece fiberglass floor. Uh, so with the rubber roofs, you're not going to have that black discoloration coming down in your water uh, points there with the fiberglass roof, and it's going to have a longer lifespan because rubber deteriorates with the sun, so you won't have that issue with the fiberglass roof. Points. There is 3M that came here on it, which is a nice feature already from the factory. Even the the small little finish on the side of the motorhome is going to be your running boards. So these are <laughs> color matched and they're going to be fiberglass. So this is an upgraded feature that you'll see with the motorhomes in the Forester lineup. Your integrated step uh, opens and closes when you have the door. So that will tuck in when you're driving and when you open it, it'll pop out. And then you have a nice LED light to, to light up your campground out front here. So now we'll, we'll pop inside and I'll show you some features in there. So now we're inside the Mercedes Motorhome, the 2401W Forester. Uh, I'm going to go over some features in here. So starting with the main front cabin area, this is going to be your secondary sleeping area or it can be your added storage area. So it comes with this little net that you can buckle up to the sides. Uh, so that's going to keep your luggage in or if you have little ones it's going to keep them from falling out. And if you just unclip this side comes down and you can fold this all the way up and you'll have lots of room if you're hanging out in your uh, your swivel chairs um, or if you want to get in and out when you're driving so it's nice to open up. Something nice about this floor plan is you're going to get windows on both sides of the top bunk. So there one, there's one behind this TV system here. So you have two windows you can open up for cross breeze so for anyone that's sleeping up there it's going to be really nice and comfortable. Uh, the Forester is going to come with 12 volt TVs, so you can turn these on. It's going to use your battery power so you don't have to worry about firing up the generator. Coming down into your uh, main cabin area, so you have the swivel chair, so it's really nice for entertaining. If you have guests over, uh, you have your big, large U shaped dinette, and you have your two swivel chairs. And you can be sitting here. Um, enjoying a drink, socializing, um, and this table can come in and out, you can move it if you don't want it here. These chairs come with the boosters, so it just allows for a more natural seat so you're not super low to the ground. Something nice about the Mercedes chassis is it is in the Forester lineup, it is going to give you the most leg room. So you're going to have the most leg room for all the taller drivers out there. It's going to be more comfortable for the longer trips. And then you have your swivel chairs which can turn around and lots of added storage up here for mats and the nice wood grain dash um, in the Forester line and the Mercedes motor in there. Coming over to the your U-shaped dinette, this has a couple great purposes. One, it's going to be a nice large seating area. It folds down into a nicer sized bed if you have a bunch of people that you need to sleep. And then you have your seat belts, seat belts in there too. You're also going to get added storage below. So full extension, nice deep drawers. This one does come with the water filtration system, as you can see here, to help keep from your fresh water in your system. Both sides are going to pull out like that, so you have that added storage underneath the dinette. Uh, coming into the kitchen area, you're going to see you're going to have the nicer one-piece countertops. You have a large stainless steel sink, so you have lots of room to do the dishes. And then you do have a bit of a countertop extender um, if you need more prep space. And even if you're prepping in here, you can use the table over here um, and your kitchen area to be prepping if you do have to cook inside. If not, you're outside on the barbecue enjoying it. We This one it was optioned without the oven inside, so we did a convection oven instead of the oven. And what that's going to give you is going to give you a lot more storage. So you're getting this added drawer down here where a lot of times our customers aren't using the oven, heating up the trailer. They're either out on the barbecue 
or if you have, do have to use something to bake, you can use the convection microwave that's in here. You have a nice flush stove top cover, which folds up to a nice backsplash, and you have the thinner, thicker grilling surface below with the three grill, and you have a nice uh, glass backsplash and the knife rack back here. There's still tons of storage. Getting into a 25 foot motorhome storage is so important. So they do a great job of maximizing storage in this trailer. And then if you follow me back here, this is also going to be your dedicated kitchen pantry. So you have full adjustable shelves, so you can place them where you want depending on what you're trying to store in there. But it's nice and deep, you reach your full arm back there. So if you're going on those longer trips, you're going to be able to bring all that food with you and not have to worry about storage. It's always challenging in 25 foot footprint to get everything into it. This floor plan does a great job. Um, so as you can see, you have the full wall slide, which is out right now. And with that, they're able to give you a, still a walk around queen size bed. So it's not tucked in the corner, you're not having to crawl over each other. So you're able to walk around the full queen bed. Uh, you have nice reading lights. You have two windows that can open in the bedroom area so you're still able to get a cross breeze. All the windows here will have your roller shades, blacked out roller shades, which are really nice compared to the metal or tin blinds. Even the mattresses is a nice memory foam mattress so they, they try to put those nicer features into the motorhome. Up here is where you're going to have your prep for your 12 volt TV if you want to have one in the bedroom area. This is going to be your HVAC control system, so you'll have your air conditioning. The air conditioning in this unit was upgraded to a 15K BTU air conditioning with a heat strip. So that's going to allow you to have an electric source of heat into the motorhome along with your propane furnace. So you have two sources of heat that you can have going in this motorhome. And then you have your furnace controls there. Beside the bed, you're going to have your really nice wardrobe. So they do all hidden hinge cabinetry, so it's really residential all real wood um, frame cabinetry and they even put the cedar line closet back there so Forrester is always trying to do those little upgrades to help bring it up another level your control panel so above your fridge here your two-door large fridge um, you have your control panel so your control panel is going to control all the main things in your motorhome you have your awning your generator lighting monitor, slides, and your stabilizer. So it does have auto level. What's great about this control panel is anything that you can do on here, you can do on your cell phone. So if you're out by your campground, you wanna check your tank levels or you wanna put your awning in, you can press a button, your awning's gonna go in. Put your auto level down, you can start your generator. My feature that I really like is for the lights, you can turn them all on or all off with the press of a button, which is a really nice feature if you wanna light it up quickly. Or if you're laying in bed and you want to turn the, all the lights off, click your phone and you're good to go. You don't have to get out, out of the bed. They do have a privacy curtain that can be pulled across if you want to divide the bed. Um, just have more privacy if you have any guests um, out, staying out here with you. This one was ordered in with two Max Air fans in the living space. So you have one here and then one up closer in the main area. So those fans are going to be great for if you don't want to fire up your generator or if you're not plugged in. Those fans are going to run off your 12 volt system. They're going to both move. Each will do 900 cubic feet of air per minute on the highest setting, which allows this tree to stay nice and cool on the hot days and without you having to run the generator at night if you just want to get some air circulation. And having two on a trailer this size is a little overkill, but it's really nice. Stepping into the washroom area here, you'll find a really nice size washroom for a smaller 25 foot motorhome. They do a great job of one, maximizing shower, so you're going to have a large shower. Uh, the items in there are just the, the covers that go over your windshield and two front windows for the blackout. But you have a nice big shower. You maximize your counter space, so you have lots of counter space for your toiletries or any items that you have, and lots of storage in here. Full cabinetry back there. And then your toilet is going to be, um, you'll have your bidet sprayer there if you need to clean out your toilet, it would make it super easy. And then you have a nice towel rack on the back of your door. So they're always trying to put the little finishes on just to, just to bring them up another step. 
that's a little look at the Mercedes motorhome. If you have any questions, you can visit our website, rangelandrv.com, or reach out to one of our salesmen. My name is Kyle, and we're happy to help you guys out. If you are interested in this motorhome, check our website out, email for inquiries. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos like this.